In this video, we will cover gas fireplaces. And in our company, a gas fireplace means a traditional log set, which is put inside of a fireplace after it's already been installed. Uh, so it's like an aftermarket product that goes inside. We call that a gas fireplace. We will also call a gas fireplace a true direct vent gas fireplace. Uh, we call that a gas fireplace. Uh, we also refer to a gas stove, a freestanding UL listed gas stove, a gas fireplace. And then we will also call a vent free fireplace, a gas fireplace. And then a type B gas fireplace, B as in boy gas fireplace. Now, that's just to set the boundaries of what the discussion will overall entail. Now, gas, natural gas versus propane, we'll talk about briefly. Natural gas weighs uh, about, it weighs less than propane. And natural gas comes through a gas line, like here, it'll come out through the ground on the side of a house, like where we are right now. It'll go through a regulator, which downgrades the pressure from a high pressure to a lower residential pressure. It'll go through this, which is the meter, which will measure how much fuel is being consumed by the resident, and then they get a bill every month. So this is natural gas. Natural gas has 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. And that's a little dangerous because I'm gonna strike a match near a gas valve, so I'm gonna come a little bit towards the camera. One match is one, is one BTU. So this is one BTU of heat. And one cubic foot, 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches, of this natural gas has 1,000 1, BTU. Now compare that to the tank that is outside of some rural and suburban homes, big white tank, and it says LP, liquid propane. Liquid propane is also a gas fuel like this, but it's not delivered through a meter, through a large system from oil wells and all that. It's delivered on a truck to a tank that sits on the customer's property, big like submarine shaped tank. And that is 2,500 BTUs, 2,500 BTUs per cubic foot. All right, so this is a propane tank. We are in a suburban area outside of the main metro of Denver, Colorado. This is a uh, 1954 propane tank. And today I have with me, Sean. Sean, and Sean is with a local propane delivery company. Let's take a look at his truck. All right, here's a typical delivery truck right here. It's on the back of a big rig. Propane, propane is heavier than air. Okay. Uh, the most dangerous thing is the accumulation in a basement mm. and any kind of a spark. And that's because the propane is heavier than air, so it's gonna to sink to the it's, bottom of that basement and be careful of sparks. Now, what kind of spark, what could create a spark in a basement or anywhere? What, that could cause a fire? A light switch. A light switch. Um, just plugging in a fan to disperse the air. you think that'd be a good idea, but mm -hmm. there could be a spark. When well, you plug there, it will in. A, there, there will be a There will be a spark. A spark. And yeah. it could, boom. Um, uh, cell phones have electronics. That's true. You might anything, want to just be extra careful with that. Anything with electronics, just be very, very careful. Um, call the company and have them shut it down somewhere over here there'll be a valve like right in here there's so here's the top of a standard propane tank that might be a main shut off there yeah, that, that tells you the content of the fluid that's inside there yeah well is it a fluid or is it a gas really we put liquid gas liquid in propane the tank. is in the tank the tank the appliances use vapor ah so a vapor off of the yeah off of the gas, so off of the liquid. So it, it's so. Would you say you deliver a liquid, but we use a vapor? Yes. Okay, and the vapor is what's extremely flammable. Yes. Okay, very good, Sean. Thank you so much for your time today. So propane has a unique characteristic of being two and a half times more powerful than natural gas. Liquid propane is heavier than air, and natural gas is the same weight as air. So God forbid, if you have a natural gas leak, it kind of goes everywhere. If you have a propane leak, it goes straight to the floor and it builds up in the residence. So those are the two main things that you will need to know when you take the exam for your uh, chimney certification with our company. Those are the main things I just want you to know. Thank you very much.